On the grounds of the Israel Museum, this limestone model of first century Jerusalem enables visitors to retrace events that changed the world. By merging this impressive model, built on a scale of 1 to 50, with the streets of modern Jerusalem, Mark DeHaan and Jimmy DeYoung will follow Jesus, event by event, place to place, to Easter Sunday and beyond. Behind the Easter story, retracing the footsteps of Jesus from his betrayal to his resurrection and disappearance in the sky on this day of discovery. After the resurrection, Jesus Christ would appear with his disciples here in the city of Jerusalem and to a number of other people according to the Gospels and the first chapter of the book of Acts. He even traveled to the Galilee and there appeared before 500 the resurrected Jesus Christ. Suddenly there was commotion in Jerusalem. Not only had Mary and the women found the grave empty, but Jesus began to appear first to Mary, Peter met him, then it was James, Thomas doubted, but Jesus appeared to the whole 12 and later met with them up in Galilee after his resurrection. Later, the Apostle Paul in writing to the Corinthians said that at one point Jesus appeared to over 500 individuals at one point. Most of them, Paul said, were still alive. So the, the reports, even at that point, could have been checked out about Jesus' resurrection. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received and in which you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast that word which I preach to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen by Cephas, then by the twelve. After that he was seen by over five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but some have fallen asleep. After that he was seen by James, then by all the apostles. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It's now 40 days after the resurrection, and following the appearances of Jesus before his disciples here in Jerusalem, and over 500 people in the Galilee, Jesus returns to Jerusalem, here to the Mount of Olives, which is represented by where I stand overlooking this model. At that point, Dr. Luke, in Acts chapter 1, tells us that Jesus Christ will leave this earth and go back to heaven. I'm going to join Mark now on the Mount of Olives. Hey, Jim. Hey, Mark. That didn't take long. Not at all. Hey, hey I found another way to look at the model. Man, this look at is this. A great sight. Look at this. Nice view, huh? Excellent. That looks like a full-scale model to me. That's the real thing. That's the real thing. And from here on the Mount of Olives, it's just exactly like it was as described in the Gospels across the Kidron Valley from the Temple Mount. It's a great place overlooking the city of Jerusalem just above the Garden of Gethsemane below. For us to rethink the key events in the last week, the Passion Week of Christ here on earth. We began with Jesus before the religious trials in the city of Jerusalem. And then it was on to Pilate, Herod, and back to Pilate before Jesus was led to one of the possible locations for the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. After his resurrection, Jesus appeared a number of times before his disciples, made a trip to the Galilee, and in the Galilee over 500 people saw Jesus Christ alive. And then Jesus comes back here to the Mount of Olives to leave the earth to go to heaven. Jesus said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, 
but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Now when he had spoken these things while they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. Acts chapter 1. Walking among these ancient gravestones here on the Mount of Olives, it's quite a place to think about that last event. According to the Gospel writer Luke, Jesus actually transitioned physically and bodily in the very presence of his disciples. And that's what's so significant. It, it wasn't just one disciple. Can you imagine a man or a woman who comes back and says, I saw him, he levitated, he went up before my eyes. Now this happened before the disciples who had walked and lived with Jesus for three years. And it gave them reason to believe that, that all of this was such a fitting conclusion, along with the resurrection, a, a bodily resurrection from the dead. This ascension before their very eyes was such a fitting conclusion to these traumatic, terrible events of this week. And yet there's, there's something else that, that would make it even a better conclusion. There's something that remains, and that's the decisions that, that you and I have to make as we think about these, these amazing events of this week. The question now is how, how do we personally respond to what Jesus did. Do we believe the, the gospel writers and, and the New Testament writers that this didn't just happen by accident? It was all part of a, the plan of a loving God who from eternity past planned these events for our sake to give us a chance to believe, to give us a chance to bring our wrongs, our shortcomings, our sins, to the very cross and to the resurrected Christ who did it all for us. Yeah, that's, that's the part that remains. And a decision that says yes gives the best conclusion of all. He was in the world and the world was made through him and the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name.